calibrating the stroke axis. After watching the homing video and the how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the stroke axis needs to be calibrated. It probably needs calibration if the center lines on floor webs are off or if the saw blade is not cutting completely through the board. Gather the supplies listed here. If you haven't already inspected the stroke assembly, lock out tag out the saw and inspect the stroke motor assembly and general area for debris or binding. Inspect the home sensor for loose or damaged parts and cables. Push and pull on the blade assembly in the direction of the stroke axis to check for tightness in the gearbox. Inspect the stroke drive belt for damage and proper tension. Test the tension at the drive end. The top section of the belt should be tight enough so it appears straight when at rest. Inspect the Lazum fixed jaw for wear. The jaw should measure 1.5 inches the entire width of the jaw. If it does not, the stroke axis measurement will never be accurate. Contact MyTech to obtain a new Lazum jaw. Always calibrate the stroke after replacing the Lazum fixed jaw. If no mechanical issues are found that would affect saw accuracy, measure the diameter of the saw blade from the end of the tips to the end of the tips. The saw blade shrinks with use and sharpening, and it is important to have an accurate measurement for stroke calibration. You will use this measurement on a subsequent screen. When these steps are complete, remove the lockout tagout devices, power up the saw and touchscreen, and continue calibrating. To calibrate the axis, ensure the status banner on the blade home screen shows ready. You may need to press the home system button on the toolbar if the system is not in the ready state. The saw must be in manual mode for the home system button to work. Make sure the saw is in manual mode and select Calibrate from the Tools ribbon. The calibration screen appears. Select Stroke and press Start on the calibration screen. If a selection window appears, select Home Position. Follow the instructions on screen. When the software asks, enter the measurements requested. You may want to compare the original and new numbers on the final value screen just to be aware if you're having the same problem over and over again. If so, determine the mechanical cause and fix it.